Okay, we're going to talk about call by value and how it relates to primitives and objects and arrays or objects. So that will give a good example. So let's look at this example here. Let's say I have a method here. Now I'm going to create a static method, but the fact that it's static is not really important for today's lesson. So I've created this little method called change n, which takes this integer and changes it to a five. Here I've got a different n in my main method. I've set it to a seven. I'm calling this method right here, which is going to change it to a five. And then when I get back from the method, I'm going to print it. And what I'd like to know is what's going to print here? Is a seven going to print or is a five going to print? Okay, it's going to be a seven. So let's look at it. You can see that the change method did not do its job. And I want to know why. Very good, sir. This n is created here. It dies here. And what's happening when this uh, method is called, this 7 is being copied into this variable. But this variable int n is different than this variable int n. And when I change it here, I'm only changing the local copy so that when I get back over here to the main method, the original n is still 7. There is no way in Java for this method to change one of its parameters permanently. By the way, that's not the case in some languages. In C++, for example, uh, by putting something special over here, you can designate something called call by reference, which will allow you to change the values of your parameters permanently. But Java doesn't have that. So therefore, in a Java method, it cannot change a primitive parameter and change its value in some way. Now, we're going to look at a slightly different example now. I'm going to go back to the dog project I was looking at before. And we're going to come over here, and we've created this dog. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another method that changes a dog. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass that method, this dog that I have, and I'm going to print the dog's name before and after. And I think we can all agree this one will print Luna. The real question is, which one will this one print? Will it print Luna or Tuna? Now, everything I've done so far on this topic has been a review from what we learned earlier in the year, so I'm just reviewing it. Hopefully, you still remember the right answer. Right? Discuss with your partner which of these two things you think is going to print here. Ms. Tamara, can you tell me what's going to print here, Luna or Tuna? Let's try it. Okay, it printed tuna. So now we need to understand why it printed tuna. When I created this dog, how many dogs did I create in here? How many dogs? One dog I created. Its name is Luna. When I pass this dog as a parameter, the only thing that gets copied from D to X is the location of the dog, the address of the dog, where the dog lives. When this method gets there, it knows where the dog lives. It hunts that dog down, and it changes its name. Was this dog's name changed? It was. There's only one dog. How do I know? I only use the keyword new once to create a dog. The fact that I'm passing it as a parameter here, the only thing I'm passing is where the dog lives. I'm passing the address of the dog, where it lives. Here, when it changes the name of the dog, it's the same dog. That's name is being changed. Let's say I did this. What's going to print now? Luna or Tuna? Not an easy question. I mentioned to you in the first week of school, there are three difficult topics on the AP exam. And I mentioned that call by value is one of the three. And this is what makes it so challenging right here. This is the peak level of difficulty in my class. Let's run it once, and then I'll explain to you why we're getting the result that we're getting. You can see that the dog has not changed, and I need to explain to you why. Look over here. I created this dog called Luna, and I passed it. D is the address of where the dog lives, and it got copied into this X variable. So the X variable now contains an address. Think of your address. That's what it contains. Then I changed the address of X to look at some other dog. Did D's address ever change? No. 
Why? Because this method cannot affect a variable that is here in some other method. It can only copy the address or copy the value. It cannot change the, the variable itself. And so the fact that I set x equal to this new dog, this x is pointing to this dog in here, but d is continuing to point to the Luna dog. This is hard enough now as I'm showing it to you. If you saw it in the wild, you would probably forget it. And so we just have to kind of keep slightly aware here during the AP exam that this might come around.